No, he, he said, I've had enough. Mum, I've had enough. What he wants is what matters. He wants to be at home, die at home, so we're at home. David Langton Gilks doesn't look like a child just weeks from death, but five years after being diagnosed with a brain tumour, he is close to yeah. the end. How many bees are there? We don't know how many, but we've got two hives here. His secondary school called me and said, he's been sick this morning, can you come and get him? So I went and got him. And he was pale, but you know, hey, it's a sick, I thought it was a sick bug. First symptom, and that was week one. Week two, he had a headache, so gave him, you know, cowpole. Week three, he was sick again once, but very early in the morning, which I thought that was pretty odd. Week four, I've got a headache. Week five, he was sick again, and I thought, Do you know, I'm not happy. So I went to the GP. I said, he's been sick three times over six weeks, and you know, this child's never ill, and he said, have you had any headaches? And at that point, I thought, oh my God, because I, I hadn't linked the headache with the sickness, why would you? I knew nothing about brain tumours, so that hadn't even crossed my radar. Of course, for a medulloblastoma, which is the commonest children's cancerous brain tumour, you have six weeks, usually before the first symptoms and them dying. And that was week six, but he could have died at any point. This is why you're so passionate, isn't it, about getting this message out? There's less than 1% of funding into cancer going into brain tumours. It kills more 20 to 40-year-olds than any other cancer. It kills two coachloads of children every single year. And I had no idea. And it's the same risk as, as meningitis, and we all know, all the mums that I meet, do you, can you spe spot meningitis? Yeah, brain tumours. Sasha is determined to raise awareness and, with the charity HeadSmart, is using social media to reach other parents. And the response has been, you know, there are mothers contacting me who've been in my situation, there are women in Australia, South Africa, um, the US, but we're 50% slower at diagnosing than the US, so I kind of said, actually, we're trying to catch up with you. <laughs> so all over the world, all over the country, and of course, they are then networking, and it's just incredible. The idea that the next child is not going to have to do the same, it just kills me to know that the other families have to do it, are going to have to do it, and, I, and it will help them. You know, if mothers know they're going to get there earlier, they're going to have tumours that size, not that size, like my son's, you know? It's, for brain tumours, that is so crucial. Um, and so, you know, thank you, Twitter, thank you, Facebook, thank you, everybody who's helping.